Beyond the Blue RC1 here, and I got my Blade Trio 360 CFX. I'm just going to go over real quick some aftermarket, you know, battery options that you can that are out there for this. There's not a lot, not a lot at all. This is basically the two that I found. Is a Pulse 1800 milliamp and the uh, and a couple. I got a couple. I got two Gen's Ace 1800 milliamps. So. Well, before I do that, the Pulse, that's the wrong box. <laughs> I have an 1800 milliamp, not a 3300 milliamp. So they put it in the wrong box, which I didn't even notice until I started doing this video. Which is kind of funny. Let's pop this can to be off one handed. Got it. Slowly pop this off. Alright, now. Once I remove the canopy, you can see that it just fits on the on the airframe. Just fits. Now I tried putting it on like this, and it just wasn't happening. It was just way too tall. And these thick wires, it just wasn't happening. It just was not gonna fit. So I thought, how am I going to get this to work? And then I thought, well, if I flip it on its side, because it has this nice thick shrink wrap, shrink wrap all the way around it, I can, I can get this Velcro to stick, this soft Velcro to stick right here. As you can see, it wouldn't probably stick to the cells if they didn't have the shrink wrap on there, because you got all these spaces in between. It might, but I don't, I don't really like sticking it right to the, to the cells like that. But since it had these nice had this nice shrink wrap all the way around it I thought well let's try, let's try that and it works perfectly perfect fit now I don't think you could fit a bigger a bigger battery in there I think 1800 milliamp is about as big as you can go next size up I believe is a 2200 milliamp which I thought about getting then I erred on the side of caution and thought, well, let me just go with these 800 milliamps because I'm not even sure if these are going to work. I looked at the dimensions online, you know, looked at the helicopter, you know, eyeballed it, and figured, eh, I think this might work. And it just barely works, and that's, and I had to be modif just modify the way the battery goes in. Instead of going like, putting it in like that, you put it in like that. And also, it wouldn't go in like this because of the way the wires sit. So it had to go like this. Because the wires are rubbing on the bottom of the canopy and I couldn't get the canopy to go all the way in because the wires are were hitting down here. It just wasn't working. So like this is the perfect way to, to install this battery. Just like that. And same thing with the Pulse, same design. So that's what I went with. I'll do a flight video here and see how I how it does performance wise but thinking a little bit heavier battery quite a bit heavier actually I mean it probably it's a decent and it's noticeable so I think it'll help in the air and I think it'll help kind of stabilize it a bit make it a little bit heavier in the air kind of suit my flying styles I'm not a huge 3d pilot I just like kind of cruising around doing circuits what have you so yeah I I'm quite happy with the way this turned out, and this is Beyond the Blue RC. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Hope this helps you with your battery selection. If you do have this helicopter and are looking for something other than the stock setup, because the stock batteries, quite frankly, I don't like them. I had issues with them from the get-go. They started to puff up on like the second flight. And um, I had issues charging them in the very beginning. They were only recognizing to add three of them and I think uh, all three of them they were only recognizing at first they weren't recognizing all the cells it was only showing up as like five cell and it definitely was a six cell battery so I had issues with from the get-go with those batteries so much happier with these I hope they uh, hope it flies well stay tuned for the flight which will be next